produced. The latest section was built. Saudara pendengar, Chris dan Iwan telah tiba di pabrik mobil. Mr. Farrell, seorang pengantar, akan mengantarkan mereka melihat-lihat pabrik tersebut. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, uh, Iwan. Is that right? That's right. I'm Iwan. He's Chris. And I'm Ron Farrell. First, let's go in here to our visitors' room. In here, visitors are received. Films about the factory are shown, a talk is given, and so on. Apakah saudara mendengar beberapa contoh ungkapan pasif? Coba dengarkan. Visitors are received. Films are shown. A talk is given. Contoh-contoh tadi adalah dalam bentuk present dan menggambarkan hal-hal yang dilakukan sebagai kebiasaan. Coba dengarkan beberapa contoh lagi yang memakai kata-kata is dan a. Now, a booklet for each of you. One for you, Chris. One for you, Ewan. Thank you. These are given to all our visitors. In the books, information is given about the size of the place, the organization, the history of the factory and so on. There's a map. See? The different parts of the factory are shown on the map. I see. There's the visitors' room. That's right. Sekarang, coba dengarkan beberapa contoh lagi. These books are given to all our visitors. Information is given about the size of the factory. The different parts are shown. Sekarang, coba saudara ucapkan sesudah Mr. Farrell. Siap? These books are given to our visitors. Information is given in the booklet. The different parts are shown. Nah, tinjauan keliling pabrik itu dimulai. Pertama-tama, daerah gudang, tempat penerimaan peti-peti besi besar yang dinamakan container. First, the storage area. Containers are delivered here. What's inside the containers? Things that are produced in other factories. For example, the engines. They're produced in another state, and they're brought here. They're delivered here. The containers are stored here. Artinya, peti-peti besar itu disimpan di sini. The containers are stored here. Later, they're taken inside and opened. The engines are removed. Then later, they're put into the cars. Some parts are made here, and some parts are made in another factory. Is that right? That's right. The engines are made in another factory. They're delivered here each week. Coba dengarkan beberapa contoh lagi. The containers are delivered here. They're stored here. Then they're taken inside. Then they're opened. The engines are removed and then they're put into the cars. Perhatikan bagaimana ucapannya dalam percakapan sehari-hari. There. There. They are diucapkan there. They're put into the cars, and some parts are made in another factory. Sekarang, coba saudara ulangi beberapa dari contoh tadi. Siap? The containers are delivered here. They're taken inside. The engines are removed. They're put into the cars. Some parts are made here. Baiklah. Bentuk negatif ungkapan-ungkapan tadi mengikuti ketentuan yang sudah kita pelajari, yaitu dengan menambahkan kata not. Coba dengarkan. 
The engines are not made here. The engines are not made here. Dalam percakapan sehari-hari diucapkan The engines aren't made here. Aren't. Aren't. They aren't made here. Dan contoh berikut memakai bentuk tunggal kata benda, yaitu tentang baja. Di sini digunakan banyak sekali baja. Steel. A lot of steel is used in this factory, but the steel isn't made here. Coba dengarkan lagi. The steel is not made here. It isn't made here. Dan sekarang karet. A lot of rubber is used too, but the rubber isn't made here. It's made in another factory. And the glass isn't made here, is it? No, the glass isn't made here either. Rubber and glass and steel are used here. They used to make cars. Artinya, bahan-bahan itu digunakan untuk membuat mobil. Yes, they used to make cars, but they aren't made here. Sekarang, coba saudara ucapkan beberapa contoh sesudah Chris. Siap? The engines aren't made here. The steel isn't made here. The rubber isn't made here. The rubber and steel aren't made here. The glass isn't made here.